sometimes when it's just me alone doing the commentaries, I think I'll just come sit here on this recliner instead of in front of the green screen. Because when I edit for the green screen, I have to put a picture behind me and that makes the video save very slowly. So if I do it like this, I can save the video quickly and upload it quickly, all right? Because sometimes the news is changing so swiftly from the last video that I recorded that if I wait too long, to put another video up, everything will be stale. So right now, this is the news. Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is the sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're gonna find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. He's going home from the hopsicle to another hopsicle because you know they have one of those at the WH. So um, he tweeted out, this is why I'm coming to you guys. He tweeted out, don't worry about the V-I-R-U-S and don't let it dominate your life. And I don't know what else he said before or after that, but that's what grabbed my attention. Are you having trouble with your skin or hair? Who isn't these days, right? Because of the stress of the pandemic and the fact that we have to wear a mask all day, the fact that we have to wash or sanitize our hands every two seconds, and we can't even go to the hair salons because a lot of them are still shut down. It's a hot mess, right? But don't despair, I have the answer for you. Satura Hair and EOS Skin Care. Satura combines their extensive knowledge of medicine and cosmetology with their profound understanding of how to harness the effects of natural ingredients. Check the video in the card above to see the review that I've done on this company and then click on the link below to check out these awesome products. So you didn't think that I was going to give you an affiliate link and not give you a discount code, right? Put in the words Bear Pantry to receive free shipping. And I'm here to tell you guys, yes, you need to worry about it. Don't play games with this thing. I listened to this lady named Lori Garrett. She's a Pulitzer Prize author that knows everything about pandemics and plagues and so on and so on. And she uh, comments on MSNBC. And I've been listening to her even before she was a commentator there because she was one of the first people along with Bill Gates telling us to shut down for at least three months so that we can, you know, get a hold of the situation. Of course, we didn't do that. And you know what's happened. 210,000 people gone and pretty much everybody getting it now in that little bunch of people that did not believe it. You know, or you know what? They believe it's real. They just figure, you know, kind of like people that go outside when they're sick with something and just expose themselves to the element no matter what, because, you know, I'm strong. I could make it. That's what they think, right? So he, him saying that really got me on edge because a lot of his followers are going to listen to that and they're going to get sick. And you know what? Frankly, I just don't care. I care about us. You that watch my show and me right here in my family, I care about us. I see a lot of people that I know going to backyard parties and they go, oh, they check our temperatures or we check their temperatures. What does that tell you? The, the White House press secretary, the girl, McLeod or whatever her name is, she pretty much was negative Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then was positive today. It takes a little while for the thing to build up in your system so that the tests that they are administering can see the thing. It's kind of like pregnancy tests. You know, pregnancy tests, one day you're negative, the next day you're positive because it takes a while for the hormone to build up in your system and for the test to be able to detect it. So that's why it swings from negative to positive right away. Now look at Chris Christie, right? So he was one of them that said, oh, sometimes, you know, a few people are going to have to be lost, meaning DEAD, for us to get this under control. But the minute his fat behind got sick, what did he do? He checked himself into a hopsicle right away because he goes, I'm asthmatic. What happened to sometimes a few people are going to have to be lost, right? What happened to that? He's a whole hypocrite, which is a lot of the problems with these Republicans. There are a lot of hypocrites in there. And that's, that's what I can't wrap my head around. That's why I could never belong to that party because I'm not hypocritical. Whatever I say, I stand behind it. And I'm not just going to say, okay, it's good for me, but it's not good for you. All right? So let's discuss this really quickly, guys, because I want you guys to stay safe. The first form of defense is not even this, your mask. You notice on my mask, match my shirt, because, you know, that's what we do. We make masks. This was one of the prior masks that I used to make that has a filter in it. I don't like it so much because it kind of uh, squishes on your face and, you know, you can't breathe. The stuff that Joe's uh, sewing right now is the best one. I can wear those for five hours, six hours at a time and not take it off and still be okay. But um, I digress. It's not the mask that's your first form of defense. It's staying the hell away from people. Don't go near nobody. If they don't live with you like how Joe, me, Jada, Jory, and Josh lives here together, then don't come here and I'm not going to go to you. No, I'm not going to go to your backyard party. No, I don't want to buy the food that you cook out, you know, inside your house. No, I don't want to come to your baby shower. No, I don't want to go to none of this. No, no, I don't even care if you're taking temperatures. What's that going to say? You know, the fever doesn't set in until you already start having symptoms for the thing. And sometimes you could have the thing from Thursday. 
and you, it doesn't show up till Monday and then I'm at your backyard party over the weekend. Guys, listen to me. I don't want to be up here hollering this all day long because I don't want my commentaries to be just all about this. I'm just talking about this because this is happening and it got me really animated and agitated and everything else because of the fact that this man is not taking this thing seriously. Now, Vin Gupta is a pulmonologist, not Sanjay Gupta. It's another doctor. Gupta is a common uh, Indian name, of course. And that guy says he treats the worst of the worst, C-O-V-I-D, rhymes with David, patients. And um, he pretty much knows what, with all the medication they were giving him is that he was in dire straits because his oxygen fell below 94. You know, did I tell you guys already that when Jory was little and he would suffer with asthma, if I get him to the hospital with oxygen at 98, they would scream at me because that's too low. Below 94 was what he had. And because they don't want to talk about the chest scan, the chest x-ray, he knows already what that looks like because he's treating those type of patients. And he says, why are they not letting us know that he has David pneumonia? You know what I mean? David rhymes with, you know what I mean? So it's like, I don't understand, well, I understand his thing because he's a showman, he's all about winning, he doesn't want to look weak, all this stuff, he's a whole narcissist, whatever. But I'm saying that the other people that are listening to him are leaving this earth needlessly. Goodness, I have to like get a whole new vocabulary to do these videos. Yeah, because they're listening to him. Don't listen to this foolishness. That's marketing, that's propaganda. That's him trying to win the elections by letting you know, don't worry about it, it's okay, look at me, I'm fine. He's not fine. He's not fine. He had a team of doctors that were giving him every cocktail known to man. And I'm not talking about the good cocktails, you know, like the alcohol and stuff. Every cocktail, what you notice, they didn't give him the, um, what's the thing called he wanted uh, uh, us to take? The Joe, what's the thing that he wanted us to take? Some, 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 some. They say it's the Clorox, but you know what he mean. That, that other drug, I can't remember the name of the other drug. Not the Remvesidine. Not, not the one that's not, you know, approved by the FDA yet. The, Oh, I can't remember the name. I'll, I'll write it down here if, if it comes to me. But he doesn't, he's not taking it. Chloroquine. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Chloroquine. <laughs> the hydrochloroquine. They, he didn't, they didn't give that to him, though. Why did they not give that to him if it's so good, right? I'm telling you guys, put your politics aside and just come with me into the new year. All right? I'm trying to make it into the new year, guys. I promise you. I'm doing everything I can do. I know no matter what we do to mitigate it, you know, we could still be unlucky and get it, right? I know that. I know that. But I'm not just like washing my hands every two seconds. I just don't go out. I go to the post office and I come home. Right now, I want to go buy a new camera. I, I want to go to Best Buy so bad and pick it up, but I want to know what are the rules. How do I get in there? How do you not get near me? How do you not touch me? How do, right now, the doctor want me to come in and take my blood pressure, you know, the annual thing, and to also take, you know, do a blood panel, the annual thing, check for, you know, high sugar, stuff like that. I don't have any of that stuff so far, thank God. I don't want to go do that. I'm going to call them first and go, okay, what are the rules? I have to sit for you to draw this blood? Sit where, when, how, what, what? Now, who's going to be there? Who's going to draw this blood? Are they going to be having on a face shield and a mask? I, you know, no, I need to know everything before I go out there and I, I put myself at risk. I'm 54 and I don't know if I'm going to be the one because the way I understand how the thing works is like you may get it and your body doesn't overreact to it so you don't get the inflammation and then you recover. And then they say, oh, mild symptoms. It's not even that it's mild symptoms, it's that your body did not overreact to it. Then another person, let's say me, can get it and maybe my body overreacts to it. You see how my body overreacts to pineapples. My tongue start itching, my back of my throat itches. You know, I, I don't think it swells up, but it itches and, and really sends me crazy. So people say, oh, you're allergic to that, Barbara, don't eat it again. You know, so I'm like, my body overreacts to things. So what if it overreacts to the VIRUS and I'm the one of them that gets the inflammation in all my organs and then everything shuts down and then pretty soon, poof, I'm gone. No more bear pantry show. No, mm-mm cannot do it so I'm telling you my viewers I've got 10,500 here at this page and I've got 80 almost 85,000 at the other page and I'm not gonna put this at Facebook so the hell with them uh, but I'm telling you my viewers here at YouTube I love you guys especially the ones that support me and I'm telling you that I want you to stay safe I don't want to look around and you're gone like the rest of the wicked people that are getting the stuff right now I want to look around and find you okay so I hope that you're listening remember the first form of defense is for you to stay the hell away from people the second form of defense is for you to wear your mask and cover your nose and your mouth with it not just put it under here on or under your chin cover everything with it okay and then your next form of defense is wash your hands and don't be touching up your face 
You know, my mom taught us that when we were little. She never liked for us to be touching up our face when we were little because she goes, you're going to take germs into your eyes. You're going to get an eye infection. You know, that's how she was. And I think that's why we're staying safe. And we have to continue to, I have to be vigilant. I had to set my foot down yesterday and told Jada, no, you're not going to go visit your friend, Matt. And no, nobody else is going to come here. The only person that pop in here now and again and keep his distance is Enrique because they test him at his job often. You know, and testing, testing is not a form of what? Treatment or cure. Testing is just diagnosis. It doesn't stop you from getting the thing. You know what I mean? So I don't want th these, uh, um, commentaries to get too you know depressing and sad though but i really feel like i have a platform to where i can do some good this is a psa public service announcement and i hope that you guys are listening i love you guys for watching please thumbs up the video if you like what i produced today please go ahead and share it so it can bless your friends and your family you know stay away from people guys don't go to no parties i'm telling you it's not important to go to that baby shower that christening that wedding whatever the hell it is don't go all right this thing is serious i love you guys Mwah. See you next video. Remember guys, we are not purchasing this book because if you do, the only people that are making money from the book sales are my ex-distributor, Amazon, and anybody else who sells books online. What I need for you guys to do is purchase this book. This is my book of Belizean recipes, 120 recipes inside. They're all easy, fun, simple, and you guys are gonna enjoy them. Take a look inside the book.